everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Welcome to video five in the Couch to Quilt series, Sewing Your Squares Together. So this is where the learning really starts. So for this segment, you're gonna need to have, you're gonna wanna have your seam ripper handy just in case. You're gonna wanna have some pins handy and your little scissors. You're gonna need to make sure your sewing machine is threaded, bobbing in, everything's going, and then we can start to sew our squares, squares together. Now, I have my first row laid out right here because we're gonna sew the whole row. And what I wanna show you is on this fabric right here, there is a definite front, back and front. And when we put our seams together, we wanna to lay them right sides together. This is the right side of the fabric right here. That's the side you want showing. You wanna lay them right sides together. You wanna to match them up like this. When you begin, you're probably gonna to wanna to use some pins and we're gonna put our pins in like this so that the head of the pin sticks off the edge like this. That's so they're easier to pull out as you sew along. Now, I don't use pins very often, but when you're beginning, this is a really good habit to get into because it keeps everything lined up and together. So what we're gonna do now that we have our two squares pinned right sides together, we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch down this one side. Now on your sewing machine, there should be a quarter of an inch mark line you wanna follow. You could actually put uh, some tape on there. You could use a quarter inch foot. There's all kinds of things you can do to help you get this. But this quarter of an inch is pretty important. So you wanna really watch it and make sure you've got that. So I set my fabric in under my presser foot. I lift my presser foot just a little bit, set it down on the fabric. And I'm gonna take a couple of stitches just to make sure everything's going well. Then I'm gonna remove this first pin because I don't wanna sew over it because that can break a needle and cause lots of problems. And I'm just gonna slowly sew down the side at a quarter of an inch, just like this. Now, once you get these two pieces sewn together, you may actually wanna come over and look and make sure that you are pretty close to a quarter of an inch here. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to open these up like this Make sure they're still in the right order that you want them, and our blue is the first one. And then we're just gonna go along this whole row and just keep adding the next square on and adding the next square on. Always making sure that we put these right sides together, um, one on top of the other. So let's go ahead and sew these together. So pinning your squares together is really important when you're beginning, but once you get comfortable with it, you really can skip that step and it's gonna speed things up for you. So when I do it, I just put my two pieces together just like this and make sure they're nice and lined up, make my way to the sewing machine, and I set my presser foot down, anchors the fabric, and I'm gonna take a few stitches just to anchor it. I'm gonna check and make sure my edges are still completely lined up, and then I'm just gonna sew down the edge just like this and just keep adding them on. So now you've got your whole row done. This is your very first row and it's looking Awesome. Now, because our charm pack has 42 squares in it, you're gonna make six across, six, six across by seven rows. Six times seven is 42, and that's how you figure that out. So we're doing seven rows that look just like this, and join us in the next video when we start sewing these rows together. Mm -hmm. 